It's money to shit. Working that rich. Ballin' like switch. Dumb is wet like a fish. Pull, pull up with them sticks. Come fuck with the clay. We, we fucked on your bitch. She sucking the dick. I got a boxing Chill question out. for Bill Haney. Yo, Bill, I was watching Barbershop Conversations last night. Bob Arum was on there, and Bob Arum said that he's ready to make the Devin Haney Tiafimo Lopez fight. Now, they asked Bob Arum about Tiafimo Lopez fighting the winner of uh, Jose Ramirez and Josh Taylor, and Bob Arum said Tiafimo Lopez will not get the winner of Jose Ramirez, Josh Taylor. He said he's interested in making the, the Devin Haney fight. Hey, listen. It's on you guys now. It's, so it's actually, it's, it's on Tiafimo Lopez because Tiafimo Lopez. Nah, it's, it, it's on the Haney's. Well, hold up, Jose. Let me ask my question, bro. Y'all been talking for an hour, bro. Let me just ask this man about what Bob Arum said last night, saying he's ready to make the Devin Haney fight. Hey, all I got to say to that hold is... Hold up, bro. Hold the fuck up. Okay. 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 Now, the thing about us is we've been ready to make that to make that fight happen. When you talk about um, Jorge Linares, Jorge Linares is a great, a great opponent. A great fight that will bring out uh, more tools in Devin's arsenal and have Devin even more prepared and ready for uh, uh, the fight with Teofimo Lopez next. So when you talk about us, you, you've already heard it from 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 me, right? You've already heard it from Bob Arum. You've uh, and that's the people that you need to hear it from, right? You've heard it from Devin. When you talk about um, Teofimo Lopez Senior, who came on here and said. He's looking for, uh, he's looking for uh, the the Ramirez winner, right? So all he has to do is, is come to grips with, with reality that what Bob said is that Ramirez is not available, Taylor is not available for him, and he do just what you guys have said before when you guys were clamoring for him to beat Nakatani and then clamoring for him to beat Richard Comey and then Lomachenko waited around a year. So why not we do the same thing? We build the fight up as being next, uh, respectively, as they get through their guys. Why all these other obstacles being put in front of these maybes, these possibilities, and all that shit? You've already heard the fact that we want it. So it's not on us. Bill, what, it's on Bill, them. What, what, would, what, what, what would worry you about fighting with Lomachenko? So if you add that to something, like, what would worry you, you said about what? It? You're breaking up. Uh, uh, my boy Mike, right, Mike from Boston, you, you're kind of breaking up. You said what? Go ahead, Mike. Say it again. He was asking something about Lomachenko. They, why are you guys worried about Lomachenko? I was, I was going to say, if you, were, if you did make the fight with Lomachenko, what would concern you about that matchup for Devin if you had to say something? Well, right now, right now, what I would like to be fair to the fans and fair to the, to, to the people is that you just heard Bob Arum come on and say that's the fight that he wants to make next after Cambosos, right? You hear me representing Devin, and we saying that's the fight that we want to make happen uh, after Lenares, getting through Lenares, right? Not overlooking him at all, right? That's the fight that we want to make. And then that's the fight that the people should should uh, should embrace. That's the fight that the people should come out and watch Devin and Lenares, watch uh, Tio and Cambosos, and then watch uh, Haney and uh, Lopez. Bill, now, Bill, I want to talk to you about uh, what uh, Bob Arum said last night. Now, you know, I remember last week when Tiafimo Lopez Sr. was on the show right here. He said that if they can't get the Jose Ramirez, Josh Taylor winner, they will fight Devin Haney. Now, Bob Arum did an interview last night with Barbershop and said Tiafimo Lopez will not get the winner of Jose Ramirez, Josh Taylor. But he said we want the Devin Haney fight. Now, what's your thoughts when Bob Arum made those comments? Uh, listen, he just and, and he also said is that the kid has to take the fight. We're ready to do it. We've been looking for it. And only thing that they have to do is, like I said, is, is you take Jose Ramirez and Josh Taylor out of your mouth and get through Cambosos and let's make this Devin Haney and, and Lopez fight. In your opinion, is that the hardest fight for Devin right now? What'd you say? I said, in your opinion, is that the toughest fight for Devin right now against Tiafimo Lopez? Lenore's fight? 
no, no, Tiafimo Lopez, would that be the toughest fight for Devin? Um, Tiafimo is a, is, a, is a tough fighter. Absolutely, he's a tough fighter. He's 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 everything that you guys believe that he is. And I just I just know that Devin is is something special. He's just a cut above, you know, the regular fighter. Hey, credit to Bill for giving uh, Tio his credit, man. I don't like it when these guys say such and such is a bum, but when they beat him, they want to get full credit for it. But you yourself said that he's a bum, so credit to Bill for, for giving him credit because if Devin Haney beats Tio, he deserves that credit. Uh, Tio, you know, un is a unified world champion, so I I'm excited to see this fight. Let's just hope it gets made. Absolutely. Thank you. That's 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 what I was kicking off. And you know, I want you know that's what I want to come on. I, I appreciate you guys. Yo, uh, you know, yo, B H. Come yo, on, B H. So yeah. So look, with this, uh, you know, now we got the breaking news that Tifimo Lopez will not be fighting at one forty against the winner of Jose Ramirez, Josh Taylor. That his promoter, that Bob Arum wants that Devin Haney fight. So. I mean, what do you think about that? Like, um, Tiafimo Lopez Sr., he, recently he's been saying he wants that Josh Taylor Jose Ramirez winner. Now that his promoter just shut that down, I think they should just be focused on making that Devin Haney fight next. That's what I think. Well, well they both have to get through, get through their opponents. But one thing that I say about boxing is if we took time out, if we took time out to understand what the road to uh, – to uh, uh, a unified champion and what they what they put on. We knew that Tiafimo's quest was going through Nakatani, going through Richard Comey to get to Lomachenko. Then it's fair it's fair enough that you know we have a, a road that we have to get through in Linares. He has to get through Cambosos, and then we make that fight happen. I don't want to start putting all these other obstacles, putting all these other things in front of there, making hypothetical situations about whatever. I mean, it's close. Devin said said it. He said to him when they met in that infamous, infamous meeting, they said, listen, this thing is going could happen sooner than people, you know, sooner than we think. Devin was prepared then. He was prepared in the WBC tournament to fight him, right? He's been prepared to fight him, right? That's a fight that, that we feel that we're very confident in. And you know what I mean? And we want to make it, right? But we don't take nothing away from him. We don't say that he's not the person that he is or the person that everyone believes he to be. We just say that, you know, this he he's the perfect fighter for Devin to showcase and Devin to have a breakout performance on. That's all. Absolutely. And Bob Aram, he also said that if Devin Haney can beat Jorge Linares, he's willing to make that Tiafimo Lopez fight. So it's like all all roads leads to Devin Haney. Devin Haney got the missing piece of the puzzle. The WBC world title. And we want one face, one champion. One name in the biggest fight in boxing is Devin Haney versus Tiafimo Lopez. Hands down, this is the most talked about fight in boxing. I mean, that fight's gonna happen. I always, I always said that. that next, fight was though, no, Bob Aram said he wanted next. Now, you keep saying it's gonna happen later. We want the fight next. Whoa. Now, Whoa. Team Whoa. Haney is here. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. It, it can happen on. next. Hold up, give me one second. Haney, one Haney has an opponent in two Hold up, bro. So how because does it happen team, next? team Haney is here. They ready to make that fight happen next. Bob Aaron said he want to do it next. So now we got to hear from um, Tiafimo Lopez Sr. You know, we I want to hear his response to Bob Aaron saying that they won't get that the winner of Jose Ramirez, Josh Taylor. I want to hear what Tiafimo Lopez Sr. has to say responding to Bob Aaron, his comments. So H Money. I want to see the fight between Devin and um, T.O. because it would be for the true undisputed. I've always given Devin Haney that credit that he is the real WBC champion. So there's no hate. Just because I made an opinion statement of who I thought would beat him doesn't mean that I'm detracting from Devin Haney. Again, I will restate. I think the Linares fight is a great fight. I would love to see him fight T.O. Fima Lopez. I think he could beat him. I think T.O. gets hit way too much. I think... He lacks in the defense, and a guy who can fight on the back foot like Devin Haney is perfect for somebody open the shots to, to beat him on the scorecards. That's my personal opinion. Now, when it came to the, the Ryan Garcia, you know, it went left field, but that's just my opinion. So I, I don't know where the chat gets that I'm hating on Devin because I don't. I've always stated he's the real champion. Right. 
Yeah, nobody said you hate him, bro. It's just a misunderstanding. Just it, 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 yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. We just talking in general. You feel and me? If Bill's still here. You know, he could comment on what I just said. No, no, you know, no, him the, saying he doesn't believe me and what, stuff the thing, like that. The thing, well, the thing that the thing that you know, it it takes it's it's uh it's hard to get there, bro. It's it's hard to get there. You know what I'm saying? And you know, as a, as a fighter, it's even harder to, to, to stay there. You know what I'm saying? You become you you become the hunted man. You know what I mean? When you got it, you know. So the thing about it is, is that we developed. You know, Devin has 25 fights, and while everyone was saying, you know what I mean, uh, who we fought or or any of that kind of shit, when you go through that process, right? When you go through that process 20 times of cutting weight, of getting in and out the ring, you develop a certain confidence in the process, right? And when you talk about when when people say, well, you know, uh, that's just in the gym, we're like, all right, whatever. Definitely worked with the best of them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when you talk but, about when, when you know, go let ahead. me say go something ahead. Real, yeah, well, go real ahead. quick. Say quick money. Say, go ahead. Uh, um, uh, H money, you know, one thing that you are missing on, uh, you cut off. You cut off. Let him finish. Let him finish. Go ahead, B H. No, I was gonna say one thing you you forgot to mention about about the the interview yesterday that was on barbershop. Was that Bob Barum said if Teofimo doesn't get um, the Ramirez and Taylor winner, Teofimo, they're the ones who said they wanted Haney next. So I believe that you're not giving Teofimo credit because they, they were the first they ones to do that. They did they're, they're the ones, so they already no, had their, no, see, so their response right there. Because Teofimo Senior already said he wanted Devin Haney next. Let him talk. Let him respond. Let me talk. You're not only rude, but you have, a, I've, I've noticed that about you. You're very rude and you have selective hearing. You hear what you want to hear because what he said was, and you don't want to say that, what he said was is he can't get him. He said he can't get Jose Ramirez. He can't get Josh Taylor winner because he has Kentrell. So we would love to make that fight happen. Next, that's what so, he specifically so said. So, Bill, Bill, let me right, but that's what I'm saying, though. That's what I'm saying. That you already answered. H said that he wanted a response from Senior. You said that they they already gave the response. Yes, he did. Bob Perry said he No, wait, 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 Jose. So, Tiafimo Lopez Senior hasn't even responded to Bob Aram's interview because it was yesterday. So, there's no way he responded. We haven't heard from him. Hey, H money. Let me let me say this real fast. Hey, you know, H, he just said it. Bob said it himself <laughs> that the seat that the Lopez told them they wanted him next. No, I'm to Bob Bob Jose. Jose what I said was Jose. Just check me out. What I said was I'm talking about uh, Bob Aram shut down the uh, the winner of Jose Ramirez, Josh Taylor. To won't get that fight because that's what he's been mm. saying this whole time. I'm moving up to 140 to become undisputed in two weight classes, but that's not true because Bob said you're not going to get that fight. But but listen, listen, this is what I'm trying to let Jose know, okay? So this is what I've been trying to say. And Bill probably knows this video. There is a video on YouTube right now of Senior, T.O. Senior and T.O. running up on um, Eddie Hearn. And they asked for the Devin Haney fight and they asked for $7 million. And when Ed, Eddie Hearn was like, yeah, okay, they look like fucking deers in headlights. So I don't know how much they really want to fight Devin. Because it was he offered them million, seven million, million on the spot, what they asked for, and they looked like they were shocked. They asked for ten million. They asked for ten million, bro. Ten million. I thought it was seven in the video. I said ten million, million, bro. Okay, well, either way, whatever the fuck he said, he agreed to it, and they still look like deer in headlights. So it doesn't be out. <laughs> let's let's go back to BH. Let's get BH thoughts. BH cooking, man. Okay, so so the thing about it is that when when the, when the brother I, and I gotta respect, I gotta respect senior. When senior said it, I didn't know their business, right? I now know the business is that Bob Aram said that you can't that you can't get it, right? So why ask for it? Why you know they weren't even calling for him, right? Ho, uh, Jose Ramirez and both Josh Taylor weren't even interested in making a fight. They were talking about going up, right? So so now th this guy here is coming back and saying that that they was looking. For Devin, no, they weren't looking. They were looking in another direction, and then and then they were creating another narrative that they were going to go another direction. And if that direction was open, then that that was the door that they was going to get out of, right? But Bob Aram closed the door, right, and told them then, okay, go back over there and face Devin Haney because he's looking for you. I mean, either way, the fight gets made, so who cares? Who, well, I mean, who, who looking for who? 
you have a, you have a problem you have a problem listening and you have a problem repeating things the way that that exactly it, it comes out right and then you and then you say it doesn't make a difference right but it does make a difference when it's being said the, the correct way when it's being done the correct way then the, then the callers and, and everyone else on the chat everyone will get a full understanding that's why i'm coming on here and then talking because because certain individuals are selectively leaving out bits and pieces of the story right that's true and i understand that it makes a difference for you because you're the dad you're the trainer or or the representative whatever but me as a fan i don't care what happens as long as the fight gets made remember i'm just a fan i'm a consumer so I, I don't i don't care who the who as, as as long as the fight gets made that's all i care about that's my point of view no 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 you just not getting paid but you on here working your ass off because you on here just as much as me and you keep driving these, these different narratives right like as if you work for the Lopez's, right? But you probably not getting paid, but then you go back in the fan mode. It's easier for me to go in the fan mode too, but kick it real, right? If we just kicking it, then it does matter because we're all or we we're all trying to to get a point across. We're all, I mean, being gentlemen about it, right? We're all keeping it real. But if if it doesn't make a difference to you, then you know what I mean? Get off the panel.